both sprinter are emptied the car is cleaned and back in the workshop so guys here is the problem why I could not finish the race yesterday you can see this is totally like a bad banana Servus <laughs> Junge <laughs> wie geht's? gut <laughs> He was not in my video for a long time, so it's time you're back. Peter is back. He gets good. Yeah, Peter here. He's yeah. gonna have a garden party in a few days, and this is all the grill curl he bought. So he he's ready. <laughs> he's gonna make fire. Yeah. Guten Tag. <laughs> What we are doing now is probably the most boring work in the world. We are putting the pant into this machine. Luckily we only have four big bags. Six o'clock in the morning. Mm. Today is a travel day again. But we are actually going south. We are not going north home, we are going south again. We made our way down to Karlsruhe on the train with the German trains. It's a joke. I paid more than 2000 for me and my brother for train for four hours and we have to stay stand most of the road not most of it but a lot <laughs> it's like a joke and now we're waiting for the s-bahn this is going to take to Eggestein that's where my friend Thomas Marshall is and he have a car there waiting for us we're going to pick up and bring back home here we are Eggestein Bahnhof where is Thomas is in in his t6 here is Thomas <laughs> hey <laughs> Samus, we get all is good. Then we are here at Thomas Marshall's place, and the reason why is because we are picking up this one, a BMW I bought, or actually my brother bought it because it's his money we are using right now. Because I have a car like this at home, and I'm gonna use this body shell on the crashed one I have in Norway. Actually, I wanted to do this for two and a half years, but I didn't have time or money. But now we're finally gonna finish this project. Guys, look at this. I have the R8 cab. BMW M4 a special edition, McLaren, and a Porsche. And you know what Thomas? He's driving around in his T6. He said he never tested this one, not even that one. This one he only brought to service and back a few kilometers. He said, I we have no fun race drive these cars anymore. Eh? I don't understand it. Okay, my brother, I'm sorry, but it's time for Roxanne. Roxanne! You don't have Back at Conrad. Come in, my brother. Come in. Drive on. New car is looking good, eh? Looks really good, actually. It's Wednesday morning, and me and my brother we decided to stay here in Germany in the workshop one and a half more day before we go home to Norway. So I start with the preparation of the car. I'm gonna pick the splitter now because this had some damage again after a weekend. As we can see here, it's a bit of a hole here. Right now, I was a really, really clever guy. Really clever I was right now. I learned my brother to use the tire machines. <laughs> this saved me for a lot of work. It's good. How is it going for that? Is it difficult? Kind of problem. Looks like you're struggling a little bit there. No, 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 no. <laughs> this is pretty cool. You guys see this Lambo? It's registered for the street. <laughs> it's not a joke. It's registered for the street. Can you imagine arrive on the supermarket with this one? <laughs> As you guys can see, you have two seats and everything. <laughs> it had been amazing to drive this around on the streets, right? Eh? Drive safe, eh? <laughs> we passed with 250 that they cannot measure. <laughs> the police is having a radar control on the street there, so he's going for a test drive. He's absolutely, totally crazy, this guy. There he goes. What Franz said in the car there is that you have to pass down more than 250 when the police is having the laser down the street there because then they cannot measure it. <laughs> that was his plan. <laughs> now I made different small pieces in carbon here and glued together as you can see. 
So now we have the shape again. Now we're going to sand it and we're going to put carbon layer and epoxy on top of everything. It's going to be like new. For the second time today, I'm really smart. I have now learned my brother to put epoxy and carbon fiber and make the reparation. Nice work, Morten. Mm. <laughs> no, this is shit work. <laughs> Maybe I don't have to do it anymore in the future. Look at this corner now. Here was a big hole, you guys know. Now I put the epoxy. And now I'm gonna put the carbon fiber on top. Today is a Thursday. We just changed the rear brakes on this sprinter that we are done with now. Now we're gonna take a douche, pack, and then we go. But first of all, we're gonna go and watch what my brother did yesterday with my front bumper, the lamination he did. Uh, okay, now we're gonna look on what you did yesterday. Mm -hmm. You did that one and that one, eh? Yeah, now we just take that one off like that. Looks really good, my brother. And the next one? I actually never have to do this again, maybe now, eh? Yeah, really <laughs> oh, Looks good. Well done. And then we take a look of what I did yesterday here. This is even better. Look at this now. Here, there's a huge hole, you guys know? Inside here. But now it's just, just sand and clear coat and it's perfect. We're now ready, I'm just gonna take a lot check in the garage that we brought everything we need to brought home, bring home to Norway and we are good to go. I'm actually a little bit sad now, to be honest, because I know now it's around three months that I will be back. Feels really strange. Ciao, Junge. Ciao, Junge. See you. Franzi! I'm going. Gott sei Dank. <laughs> Tschüss. Cheers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, all right, all right. We was not just at the supermarket here. Some shampoos and stuff I'm gonna bring to Norway. It was really expensive at home and cheap here. Also, there was some feta queso. 15 glass with feta queso. There was a lucky queso down here in the cheese. Now we go. All right, then, it's Elvis time. You know what can be fun? Paper left. I have to dry my mouth with the blanket I have back in the car. It's Friday morning. We are on the ferry in Göteborg. I'm waiting to get down. And the way down is, yeah, down there. We are finally back in Norway at the Toll custom place from Sweden to Norway. In this beautiful rainy weather. Now we're going to clear the BMW and then we're good to go further home. Morten, we made it home. We made it home. And why are you using this? Uh, why are you using this ticket now? You have to have the ticket to get park inside, you know. <laughs> You're an idiot. <laughs> Time for roller skis again. Saturday morning, eight o'clock. Yeah, it's always lit, but we're gonna bring Niklas too. Niklas, <laughs> he's a little bit shy. <laughs> <laughs> when you're shy, you're not gonna let through it out anyway. Hello, <laughs> and Niklas ready? <laughs> Tired this morning or? <laughs> <laughs> Jale just said something really, really stupid. Jale, what did you just said? I said, my mama saw me like this and she said, you shouldn't get any skin here. I would not listen to that. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bad advice. <laughs> it's time for a banana. We are done. Three hours and 15 minutes it was that. 35 kilometers or something. 